Howdy gamers, Patrick Hickey Jr., Editor-in-Chief of ReviewFigs.com, bringing you the next edition of Jimmer Junk. This week out, we're going to be playing the Lost Vikings on the Sega Genesis. So, to give you guys a little bit of the backstory, essentially the way this game plays is you've got to get to the exit. Okay, so all of your guys have different uh, abilities. And you use that to, uh, there you go, you use that to get through all of the puzzles. So we've got all three, there we go. <clears throat> so it's got a cute little story, you get the apple for every level, find out what's going on. I don't know what's going on here. Okay, so we're going to need a different character. Here's the exit. Alright, so obviously this is not safe for this guy. Okay, so this is more of a place for this guy. Ah! Did he die? I think he did. Oh. Uh, Shit. All right, so we're gonna have to go back this way. This is my fighter. This guy's awesome. I love his beard. Oh yeah, what up, son? So all of your guys have to get to. Uh, get to the end. I don't know what the hell I'm doing over here. Alright, so there's no more enemies over here, so now... Well, I gotta be faster. Okay, so I've got some bombs now. There's some really interesting gameplay uh, elements going on here. <clears throat> Oh, you can't fall. Okay. So he's dead. Okay, this is a weird level. Crap. And I'm dead. I didn't do that on purpose. <laughs> so... <clears throat> Despite only getting up to the second puzzle, I know the history of this game. It's one of the first games from Blizzard on the Super Nintendo Sega Genesis where they worked as a developer. It's an important game. Should you pick it up? Yes. But I would suggest picking it up on the Game Boy Advance. Just so you could take it with you. I mean, it is a puzzle game after all, so... Check out the Lost Vikings, Gem or Junk, it's definitely a gem. I knew that before the video. 